Good morning guys. Today I'm going to be getting my nails done as part of my little 2024 glow up that I'm starting halfway through January. But I figured as I was getting ready this morning, I would update you guys on everything because to be so real, setting up my camera this morning and filming this section has been the first time I've picked up the camera and filmed in probably a month. And for that, I'm very, very sorry. I know I've been off my game. But to be so real with you guys, I have been sick for like the past month. Like I'm not even exaggerating. I got like a cold like a week before winter break and it consisted of mainly just like a crunchy cough if you guys know what I mean and then I had it over winter break when I was in Taiwan it wasn't too bad but it was definitely like noticeable that I still had a cough honestly it became normal that I was having a cough because I had had it for three weeks at that point I got back from winter break and realized I still have this cough and I've had it for a whole week now back from winter break so I've had it for four weeks now and actually when I got back from Taiwan I was planning on filming this video but my cough had gotten so bad at one point that I lost my voice for like two or three days and it was just bad like it was not good so I wasn't able to film and I've been kind of waiting and like hoping that my whatever sickness I have and trust me I haven't had like any fevers like I literally have just had this annoying cough and I've been kind of waiting and hoping that the cough will just kind of go away and I'll be able to film like with a normal voice and not have to be sick but it has been four weeks now and I've been actually wanting to film so I just decided I would film now so if I sound a little like congested or you know anything like that that's why and honestly that is the main reason why I haven't been filming because when I left for my trip I was obviously on a trip for a few weeks and when I got back I lost my voice but I'm back my voice has actually like been pretty good for the past few days so we're hoping that it'll stay that way I do still have my cough unfortunately I did take a day off of school to kind of rest and I definitely think that helped I slept like 15 hours, but I've been back at school for a week now from winter break It honestly felt like the longest week of my life But it is a three-day weekend this week because Monday is Martin Luther King jr Day so today is the Saturday of that weekend and I'm gonna be getting my nails done with my friend Avery today Because in one week we have winter formal which is honestly crazy because we've been back for literally a week And we already have winter formal coming up and I feel like there's just so much that goes along with that that I have to like prep for but yeah That is pretty much all of the like updates I have kind of have to rush getting ready because me and Avery's nail appointment is at 10 30 and from my house it's like 20 minutes away because the salon's closer to her house and I also said I would pick up Starbucks for us and I think it's currently like 9 50 or something I did also curl my hair I curled it last night hoping that I wouldn't have to do it this morning because it just takes some time my hair lost like all its curls overnight so I recurled it this morning it looks pretty good kind of waiting for them to fall a little bit more but yeah I'm glad to be back I'm glad to be filming this video will be filmed in like a bunch of different portions like I'm not planning on filming the entire thing today I know I'm getting a haircut in a few days so I'll make sure to get that also I'm doing my mascara so please don't mind that but I am so sorry for being inactive I've been wanting to film for like a week or two now but like I said I literally lost my voice so that could not happen and so I kind of have missed the like whole 2024 reset kind of videos that like everyone does and I even wanted to film because it's now half Way through the month so let me know what videos you guys want to see this year i don't really have any planned at the moment i just kind of randomly decided that this was going to be the day i started filming again so yeah let me know if you guys have any videos that you want to see from me i do want to try to be more active and post like once a week again and honestly i would have posted if i could have filmed a video when i got back and obviously i couldn't do that with my voice being gone i hope you guys all had a great winter break a happy holidays happy new year and i'm really excited for this year. I feel like this year is going to be a super, super fun year. Okay, but I am already. Here's the little look for today. Just curled my hair. I cut the neck off of this crew neck and I think it's so, so cute from White Fox. And then I just have like Randy sweats underneath. I really do have to get going. So I'm going to get my vlog camera, pack my bag and head to the nail salon. Hi guys, so the lighting is really bad in here. I deeply apologize. The sun is just coming in on this side. But me and my friend Avery got our nails done and then we got some lunch. And I just wanted to show you, here's what they look like. Sun is like 
ruining it but I got a white French with this little bow and they're like a little bit of chrome on it I don't know how well you guys can really see but they look so so good and I'm so happy to have nails again because I haven't had them in a while also when I was in Taiwan for my winter break trip I got another baby like one of these little Sony angels so I've always had this one and then I recently added this one and it's so cute and they're just sitting there together but yeah the nails turned out so cute and I just feel so much better and like just like more like myself when I have my nails done so I'm really excited to start off the video with these I think I'm gonna go hang out at Kyle's for a little bit so I will see you guys whenever I decide to pick up the camera again Hi guys, so it is the day after and here is my hair. I know I kind of already like showed it to you guys and the curls have fallen out more since yesterday. Also, the sliding is kind of bad, but I cut like a good like few inches off of it. Here's the length. I really like it this length, especially when it's curled. I would love to curl it more often if I have the time. Also, here are the nails again. I got like a French tip with these little like bows on the two ring fingers. So, so cute. I love it. I feel just so good with my hair and nails done, but but one thing that I've been putting off for a while now that I just need to get done is to clean my room. That is like one of the most important parts of like starting the year off good and like just having a good reset. So I figured I would take some time to do that now. Honestly, not that bad. I just have like clothes I need to put away and just some things I need to like pick up. But I do also need to like put away Christmas decorations that I haven't put away yet. I also need to change out my calendar. I ordered one so it should come in the next few days. Also, I just ordered some new things just for like a little reset from Amazon. On, so I'll show you that when it comes in the mail. Also, I'm still a little bit sick if you guys can hear it I think I talked about this already my get ready with me So please don't mind that but I think I'm just gonna put my headphones on play some music and get to cleaning I kind of got myself these headphones as like a Christmas gift for myself and I've used them so much since I love them so much If you need a good pair of headphones get the Sony XM4s. They are absolutely amazing The noise canceling is so good. They are so so comfy and I love them so much and they were also on sale at Target when I bought them, but I know some people were asking if I liked them and as a little update, they're amazing. Okay guys, so I'm in the midst of cleaning and I found a few things that I've gotten recently as my friends and I have like been out. Me and my friend Peyton went thrifting like a week or so ago and then over this past weekend we went to like a vintage fair and I got a few things and I figured I would just show you a few little goodies that I've gotten. So first when me and Peyton went thrifting, I got a cute like Brandy Melville zip up like gray sweatshirt which I left in her car in accident so she still has that. But I also just got this cute little bracelet. It's like pink and then it has like a little like charm. I don't know what this is. And then there's like a heart also. Also from Taiwan, I have a few things. I guess I never showed souvenirs that I got from there. And I have other things, but I don't exactly remember where I put everything. So I'll just show you guys like the things that I got for my friends basically. For the guys, I got them all just these little like emperor men. I just thought they were fun. These are the two I have left because I haven't given them to Luke and Brandon yet, but all the other guys have picked them out and I got all different ones. These ones look very similar, but they're actually different. And then for all the girls, I got everyone like one of these little lanterns, which I just think are so cute Basically, they're just these little lanterns that have like all these different sides and I picked out six Originally, so me and my five friends could all have one and then I let them kind of pick which one they wanted So this is the one that I was left with myself It has like a little dog on it and it looks like this and basically like you can hang them like they're super cute You could hang it in your car or anything like that, but there's also a pull tab in here where when you pull it if the lantern like moves it lights up and when it's still it doesn't light up I don't think but I'm not gonna pull it for now I'm gonna find somewhere to hang this but I just feel like it's so cute and perfect as a little souvenir so we have that and then from the vintage fair I didn't get like any clothes or jewelry I was going to get jewelry but I didn't see any that I really liked there is this one candle place that's there every single time I go and I love their candles so much it is the cedar co they're based in like Elsinore I think and 
and I always get a new candle every time I'm there. This one's called Lush Lavender. It's so cute. And the cool thing about their candles is they're soy, so you can literally just like have them open and they already like release a scent, if that makes sense. And they're just like so cute. And the last two things I got are these little like crocheted, or not crocheted, like sewn hearts. They're so cute. You can hang them on anything. I kind of want to hang one in my car. I just hope it's not too big, but you can hang them and then they have a little bow. This is what the first one looks like and this is what the second one looks like. And yeah, I'm going to finish cleaning my room. I basically cleaned up my desk. I just have to clean up my dresser, like what's on top and then also put away my Christmas decorations and then put my laundry away. I'm saving my laundry for last just because it's the most boring. It takes the longest. Alright guys, so it's been like an hour, or a little over an hour. This has got to be the most cleaning I think I've done in so long, and I'm so happy I got it done. It is a Tuesday night, so it's kind of random that I decided to do it today, but I didn't really have that much homework. Currently almost 10 p.m., so I wanted to wrap this up so I could hop in the shower, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little room tour, kind of like decorations I put up, things I cleaned, stuff like that. So yeah, let's get into it. First off, I put one of my little like hearts that I got at the little like antique fair on my door handle. I love having something hanging here. Earlier I had an ornament, but obviously I took that down with Christmas stuff, so I put one of my little hearts here. It's so cute. And then I cleaned off my nightstand. I have my keys here because I grabbed these in the morning, but I put my little fake flower pot here. I also put my new candle here. This little basket just holds like necessities, my clock, my phone. I made my bed, which reminds me I forgot to put a new throw blanket on there, but I will do that in a second. And then if we come over here, I usually just keep like this area like this, like school stuff, my backpack, my school squishmallow all that usually stays there but i took a few things off of these shelves just to keep them more like organized i didn't realize how many of these little babies like i've collected you'll see them in just like random spots in my room i have a few there i also have a few like just sitting on this thing i also have one down here added my other flower pot here also cleaned off my dresser which feels amazing because before i had like christmas stuff all along here and i finally put it all away i also finally organized all of my earrings in this little jewelry box and then I added to my little babies a strawberry candle. This disposable is actually like all used up My cousin got it for me for Christmas in Taiwan. It has all of my pics from that trip on here I just need to send it in to get it developed So I just have it sitting here for now and then I cleaned off my desk this tripod's here for filming And then I also found another one of these candles from that same place at the antique fair This one is like a pineapple or like tropical scent So I also just have that sitting there and then I have this huge basket of laundry I need to put away which i'm debating on doing tonight but i think i'll do it after i shower so i'll be like comfier but yeah that concludes the cleaning for my room that took like two hours but i'm so so happy i got it done there's no better feeling than going to bed with a clean room i'm so excited the only thing i have to finish is this laundry which i'll just do after i shower i think but yeah i feel good everything looks good i think i'm gonna go shower and then attempt to put the laundry away after and definitely go to sleep so that i can get a good amount for school tomorrow hi guys so i just got home from school and I have a few packages here. So I figured I'd do a little unboxing. I think I told you guys I ordered some things from Amazon to kind of go along with this reset and a few things came in. First up, I have a fresh pack of pens. I tend to be a little bit picky when it comes to like the pens that I use or like the pens that I use for school. And throughout all of my school years, I have found the pens that I just love the most and they are the Zebra Sarasa Clip 0.5 pens. Especially when you get to like AP level courses, you start to use like just black pen for so much more like your notes and stuff rather than pencils so i have gone through so many of these black pens already this year and i'm basically about to run out so i bought a whole new pack of just black i have a bunch of other colors as well but i use black the most so this comes with 10 and then it also comes with one little like refill that you can put in the pen by the way i had an amazon gift card for christmas so that's what i used to buy a few things i also got this and this is just like a little gold bracelet set it comes in this very interesting packaging it's like surrounded by plastic 
like amazon always has the cutest like gold jewelry sets and so i just decided i would buy one this one i think is a bracelet set because i really wanted some new gold bracelets so it came with five but yeah i just got a pack of these five gold bracelets and then i also got my curology subscription which if you don't know what that is it's a skincare brand that has customized formulas for your skin this is not sponsored by the way and so every few months they send you like your customized like skincare set if that makes sense i just kind of get like the basic set so it comes with the generic cleanser and moisturizer but then it also comes with my customized formula and we recently just changed up my prescription a little bit to see if it'll help my skin because i've been kind of breaking out a little bit even while i'm using my other prescription so we have that another thing that i feel like a lot of people do for like their yearly resets is make a vision board and i actually really like making vision boards i think it's super fun relaxing but also obviously helps me kind of envision what i want this year to be like my inspirations for this year and what i just kind of want to like see and do this year i haven't made one this year yet so i figured this would be a great time to do it and i'm gonna do it on notability okay so i pulled up just a blank like note to do this on and i'm also gonna go into pinterest and just save all of like the images and things that i find that i want to put into my vision board for this year Alright guys, so I just spent 30 minutes on this vision board and I have completed it and it is definitely one of like my favorites I think I've ever made. Here's what it looks like. I'll put a better version of it on the screen. It is posted on my Pinterest if you guys want to download it for any certain reason or if you guys just want to like reference it as a little example, but I am actually in love with it. It is the cutest thing ever. Since I made this on Notability, I was able to put little doodles on it as well. So like I drew a little bow here, some like little yellow stars and like hearts and flowers flowers just around just to add a cute little touch to it make it more personalized for me it was just also super easy to make on notability i was able to arrange everything the way i wanted it obviously add extra doodles crop things like it is just perfect and i think it definitely like captures what i want this year to look like for me so i'm gonna set this as my background for my ipad and post this on my pinterest so you guys can see it as well 